Welcome back to Media Day Live on GoPCSports.com. Coach John Donovan joins us. Coach, when you head into a camp, are there the little things that you are looking for out of your unit in terms of offense each day, each practice, each meeting that you can share share to the fans about in terms of insight? Yeah, I mean, what we tell them, you know, day one, um, you know, we made some good progress in the winter and the spring. They've worked their, their tails off all summer. But it's the progress and development we make these next couple weeks in camp that will ultimately lead to the season. Mm -hmm. That's the next phase. From here, it's the season. So in order to you know, make the leaps we want, we got to take each day individually, attack each day, get better each day. You wake up the next morning, you learn from the day before, and you attack the day ahead of you. That being said, in terms of the pieces up front, Coach was just talking about four starters back on the offensive line. What have you seen in terms of the way they've approached things and how they've grown since the last time the fans have seen them? It, it always helps. You know, you can draw from experience that you've had. Okay, we've got talented guys that have played, okay? And you can only rely on talent so much. What those guys and the rest of our guys have to do is rely on their work ethic, their attitude, their effort, their competitiveness, all the things that they can control, okay? so. When they work on those things, that's how they'll get better. That's how their game will improve, and that's how we'll improve as a unit. What have you seen from Christian in the way he has developed and grown since with the pieces around him growing as well? Yeah, he, he's, he's on a mission to do well. It's about this year. Ultimately, what he does and ultimately what we do will, will be determined this year. And um, I think he's got the right frame of mind as well as the rest of the group of going in and taking control of the things we can control. And if we do that, we'll make the strides necessary. You also touch, coach the tight ends. When you look at that group and that room, add Adam Brenneman back into the fold with Brent Wilkerson, Mike Jasicki, and then obviously Kyle Carter being the senior of the group. What do you like about that tight end core? You know, they're, they're good guys. They work hard. It's important to them, okay? They got to be able to be trusted like everybody else on the unit. If, if I trust them and we trust them as a staff to play and they're going to make plays, be physical when they need to be physical, make plays when they need to make plays, then they'll play. And it's no different for them than any other position on the team. But we do have some good depth there, and um, I think it'll add good competition. And so we're excited for that. What do you see from the running game, leading off with Akeel Lynch being the veteran? Yeah, I'm excited about Akeel. I really am. I think that um, he's got a great frame of mind right now. He's very focused. He's very determined. Um, just like a lot of our guys, um, he's the guy with the experience. And I think that um, he's going to really thrive because of that. And I think his work ethic and attitude and, and all the things, you know, that we talked about already are going to, you know, give him the possibility of having a great year. Look, looking at the outside positions, Geno Lewis back being, being the veteran, but Deshaun Hamilton led the Big Ten in receptions. You have a ton of young guys, Chris Godwin, Saeed Blacknall, DeAndre Tompkins, to name a few who are stepping into the fold. What type of pieces and how do you, how do you plug those guys into different spots to make them be the best they can be in the offense? Yeah, you know, they're all start out. The one thing we're able to do in our system is be very multiple. We could be multiple up front. Uh, we could be multiple, you know, positions outside. Those guys can play different spots. So you don't have to be in one spot. So if there's a guy that really steps up and becomes the, you know, the guy that, that's making most of the plays, we can move them around. If not, we could put guys anywhere and the guys around them, you know, will make plays. So I think Deshaun has had a great summer from what I've been told. Okay, um, the rest of the crew has had a great summer, and if they continue to develop, like we talked about day by day, then they got a chance to be really good. You talked about the multiple aspect of things. When you're in a huddle and you have a, a core of guys that can play a number of different positions, how can that help you against an opponent that you can plug guys in different spots? They really don't know where they're going to line up. Yeah, it, it gives you. It gives you. You know, you're not. They can't anticipate what's going to happen. So you know, offensive guys, defensive guys. Defensive players, offensive players, they, they'd like to be able to know what's going to happen so they can anticipate and make the play. When you're able to move guys around, you're able to come out in different formations, or able to mix up different things, then you don't, you know, you can't become predictable. And that's, that's where we're, we're headed, where we're at, and I think we have the capability to do that. Collectively, what do you like about this offense? What are you, what are you heading into a season, what has you excited? I think the experience is going to help. I think the, the young depth will help. But I think the mindset more than anything else. The mindset, the confidence, the work ethic, the attitude, all the things that we're going to be able to work on each day will help us progress the way we need to progress when it becomes for real. When it comes to game planning, at what point during camp do you shift gears and start looking at getting, obviously you did a ton of stuff during the summer, but with, from the team's perspective, when do you shift gears into tempo mode? You know, because of the way the schedule works with school and all that, I think we'll get a natural week, maybe a day or two ahead of that. 
um, to get into Temple. Um, you know, that's the beauty about camp. You get to kind of focus on yourself and what you, you do and what you want to do and, and go from there. But it, there's enough time at the back end once school starts to worry about your first opponent. And, uh, you know, for right now, we're just worried about ourselves. Awesome. Coach, thanks for your time. Great talking to you. Thanks, Tony. We'll be right back on GoPACSports.com with Media Day Live.